Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Dr. Jason Jones back with another episode of Health Made Easy. And this is actually going to be our final installment of our gut health series. Um, and what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about how to improve gut health and improve digestion with six different supplements. Now, you might not like supplements. You might not like pills. I've had people tell me all the time, listen, I don't... I, I can't swallow pills. I can't. I can't take supplements. I can't do all these kinds of things. However, they're taking like six different prescriptions, which I know are pills because they don't make them in liquid that I'm that I'm aware of. So, uh, if you can swallow a piece of food, if you can swallow um, a prescription medication, if you can swallow an ibuprofen, you can swallow a supplement. Okay. So, listen, we got to take conscious effort to keep our gut health in good condition because it affects almost every single function of our body. When your gut microbiome is balanced, it helps you get more nutrients out of food, supports your immune system, help you stay healthy, and help you stay happy. But when your gut health is poor, it can affect your mood, weight loss, heart health, and cause several different digestive disorders. So supporting your gut health is a good way to strengthen your immune system and boost your overall health. So you can try some of the following supplements I'm going to talk about just kind of fill in the gaps because that's what supplements are for. They're, they're either to fill in the gaps of the things that you're not getting in your diet. You can use them to strengthen your gut lining and use them to boost your gut microbiome, uh, but also you can use to optimize your health. Now, what's the first one? The first one is licorice root and not the candy, but gut bacteria that lives on the gut lining um, and you know you have to ensure that it's functioning well to improve your gut health. Now, licorice root has been shown by many studies to have beneficial effect on gut health. It also has to be treated first um, to remove what's called glyceric acid, acid, which is a natural substance in licorice thought to cause things like low potassium levels and high blood pressure. Now, a placebo-controlled study found that licorice root is effective for reducing nausea and pain, and it heals patients with ulcers. Now, here's the thing. I For licorice root, I like the one from Medi Herb. Um, it's the it is the sister company to Standard Process. It is their is their herbal line. Um, I like the licorice. It is so good that the, the licorice is actually put into um, and has so many other effects. It's actually put into their adrenal tonic, uh, which helps uh, with things like stress and um, just better functioning adrenal glands. Now, next one is zinc. Carnosine, C A R O S I N E. This supplement combines zinc and carnosine um, and is effective in enhancing gut integrity. Preliminary studies have shown that zinc carnosine helps gut health by improving the ability of the stomach to maintain a strong gut lining. Next one, one of my personal favorites, is L glutamine. It supports your immune system by triggering the release of cytokines, which signal Mayday or help us when attacked by viruses, antigens, and microorganisms. This amino acid helps repair injuries in the intestinal wall, uh, and studies have shown that it also enhances nutrient absorption and increases your energy. Next one is no shock on this one, probiotics. The gut microbiome housed thousands of bacteria living in harmony, and probiotics are... Uh, are the supplement form of those bacteria. When you take probiotics, it helps build the population of good bacteria needed to help your body get nutrition and maintain a line of defense against pathogens. Now, let me give you a disclaimer. Most of the probiotics sold in big box stores that we won't name, that's names, names of those stores, but you know which ones I'm talking about, are complete junk. Um, they're not live. They're not live bacteria. Um, they've been heated. Um, they've just been packaged, and they, they fit the minimum requirements that they can call it a probiotic. And especially the ones that the, that you see on most commercials, complete junk. Um, you want one that's more of a soil based probiotic. Um, but I want to get off my soapbox and, and finish this podcast. But I just want to say all probiotics not created equal. Now. 
you want to assure that your choice of probiotics contains a variety of strains and don't use the same one over and over again all the time. Big, huge mistake because you're going to end up with what's called a monoculture, which means you got way too much of certain ones and there's supposed to be a balance in there. But you want things like bifidobacterium, lactobacillus, there's some other ones in there as well, saccharomyces boulardii. Um, and what's most important is you just different companies different strains don't use the same one over and over again um now prebiotics now what are prebiotics prebiotics provide the nourishment needed for probiotics in your gut bacteria so think of prebiotics as the food for probiotics um and these supplements contain uh, enough fiber um, and it's highly needed when you can't eat enough fiber-rich food, let's say, in your diet. So the digestive uh, bacteria perform uh, their work optimally when they get enough prebiotics, um, and they help you feel more full for a longer period of time. All right, next one and last one is going to be collagen protein. Now, collagen protein is, a natu- is naturally produced by the body, and it's important um, – part of structures throughout your body, including your gut. However, your body won't make enough collagen protein um, if you're not eating, you know, things like natural chicken or beef stocks, you know, or eating organ meats and those kinds of things. But you can take um, collagen protein supplements, collagen protein powders to get enough of those amino acid building blocks into your diet. So I hope these helped you out. Um, This is Dr. Jason Jones signing out for this podcast. I'll see you guys on the very next one. If there's anything special that you'd like for us to cover on a podcast, we'd be happy to do that. Um, Love you guys. Appreciate you listening. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.